Okay, Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion for the Personnel Administration Budget to recommend $3,179,510. Second. Okay. And seconded by Mr. Lapham. Okay. All righty. Um, Christy, there's a new publication out that's talking about the New Hampshire retirement system and it looks like it's in substantial trouble. Are you guys getting any updates, any uh, uh, status reports, anything at all on the retirement system? Nothing? They're just running around up there in concrete messing up. Okay. Any questions for Christy on the personnel? I don't have any questions for Christy, I don't think, but I do have some observations. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the famous merit pay, remember that, Jenny? I do. Uh, it's still there, and it still seems to be functioning. You did four years ago, and you were last little bit. Uh, but even a little bit more of a twist there. As you can see, uh, in 2016, uh, we had a budget of $15,595 spent 18427 and now they're requesting 28, uh, 28 Yet, from all indication, the raises that were given out in 2016 far exceed, yeah. far exceed the actuals reported here of only $18,427. Jenny, in the SAU 90, you have a you have, SAU 90 has a, a merit pay line, yes. right? Yes. And from what I understand, its purpose, which was actually the original purpose of this line when it was created several years ago, was to give out bonuses to people who do extraordinary work during the course of the year. One year only, one time. Yeah, one, time one time only, only based on an evaluation. Right. Yes. But that's not how this is being used ever. As you know, from four years ago, we talked about it. Correct. Uh, it was, as usual, a... Uh, well, some sort of flat percentage given to everybody, well, let me rephrase that, given to every non-union person uh, as though they all deserved equal merit, which is astounding that such a group of people could all be equal in, in, in terms of merit, being meritorious in their service. But the real concern here is that we've got a budget number that seems to be completely irrelevant to the reality that the staff experienced year after year after year. You can see that point, can't you? I can see that it's your point, yes. <laughs> you can see that reality, can't you? Yeah, I can see what? Mr. Pierce, you ran some numbers. Regina responded to your numbers, okay? And whether you talk about Regina's numbers or your numbers, you're talking numbers that are far in excess of 28 uh, of uh, eighteen thousand four hundred twenty-seven dollars. Yes, and we actually, Chrissy actually broke everything out for you that I passed out. I believe a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And if you want to talk wages, then. And that's my point. The, the raises far exceed the budgeted eighteen thousand four hundred twenty-seven dollars. It it may not. It may be a situation where. The school district is handling this in a much more sensible fashion. I would say the school board is handling it as the school board and the superintendent and agreed to handle it. Right. The town is handling it in the way that the board of selectmen and the town manager right. agreed to handle it. Right. When the board of selectmen created this line item, though, they created it on the same basis that the SA United created it, and that was for bonus pay. Yeah, because merit pay should be. But it's yeah. never actually been handled that way. Right. And, and now, now it seems to be blown way out of proportion right. in terms of the actual numbers given out versus what the budget. Yeah, I don't know how they do that, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay if you don't know. I well, no, I just did that. So what we did was we put two percent in for everyone non-union, and three percent or six percent for three positions. To be transparent, doesn't mean that. And it's in the detail section of the merit raises. Right. It doesn't mean that it's actually going to get given to them.
but instead of having to figure it out next year, we already have the number there for everyone to see. Well, I'm, not, I'm not talking about 2017 right now. I was actually focusing on 2016. Uh, the uh, budgeted versus the actual experience. 2016. Even the actual numbers that are reported here are, you know, pale in comparison by what was actually spent in terms of raises. And, and in addition, instead of being a one-time reward, which you may or may not get in a given year, this is an automatic pasted onto your salary, and so it continues ad infinitum. And that's a little different concept. And it doesn't include, you know, the benefits that go along with that. I mean, we give a person a dollar raise. How much does that actually cost us for a dollar forty? We give them a dollar. Union they're in, and whether they pay into Social Security or not. Dollar forty wouldn't be an inaccurate number to throw out there, right? We're not talking unions. We give someone a dollar raise, it's going to cost the town a dollar forty right. to pay that. But we're not talking unions here. We're talking the collective bargaining is totally different. We're talking about. Well, you've got the FICA, you've got well, you know, the insurance retirement. Well, some non-union are in the police retirement, and some non-union are in the fire yeah. retirement, and some non-union are in right. the municipal retirement, and those rates range from 11 points. Uh, 3 8 to 29.43 for police and 31.89 for fire. So they're drastically different depending on what where the employee falls. If you're looking at the employer costs. Christy, what yeah. we're trying to say is, uh, as opposed to a one-time bonus check, if you will, a merit check, whatever you want to call it, you happen to get it this year because you did a great job. But it doesn't keep carrying forward and forward and I forward. I was answering his said. question about the dollar being a dollar. Okay. That was the only question I was answering. Well, I mean, it, 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 you know, we talked about this four years ago, Jane. Yep. You remember, right? Yep. We had a good time with that yep. conversation. We did. Uh, How good was things it? Did not get, <laughs> things did not get uh, uh, contentious or adversarial. We were just exploring it. And we, we, we agreed that we needed more clarity on how this was actually being used. Mm -hmm. And we still, in my opinion, don't have any additional clarity since then, I know lots of stuff goes on, things get slipped through the cracks and stuff like that. But the truth is, it will, as far as I can see, if you give someone a dollar raise, you're gonna pay, it's gonna be costing you much more than a dollar, right? Dollar 40, dollar 50, dollar 30, whatever. It's gonna cost a lot more yeah. than a dollar to give someone a dollar raise. Mm -hmm. And that that's not calculated in here apparently. In fact, this, this line out tonight, it, it seems so fictitious, it seems absurd. If you're gonna, if you got, how much do we give out in raises this year, Mike? You got it, Regina? Uh, over the uh, above the uh, union contract, probably a couple hundred thousand. A couple hundred thousand, give or take. Yeah, yeah, and yet we budgeted. Two hundred eighty-two, two hundred eighty-two thousand five hundred and eighty-two thousand was the uh, that includes net, net income. Th this is total wages. Yeah. That's total. They said non. They said We're not non talking. Non-including. I'm talking about, I'm talking about salary and. CDAs. Wages and benefits, as was in my thing, which makes my numbers correct. 685 ish is what I come up with using your numbers, okay, for the total increase on wages and uh, benefits. And you indicated it was only 450, which is about right if you look at only wages. So it's about 200,000, give or take. And benefits. With benefits. You can't give somebody a raise without them getting a benefit, it just goes with it. You already decided that the, point, the particular point I'm trying to drive to is that we gave 200 something thousand dollars in raises last year. That seems to be a consensus, right? And yet we only budgeted 15,595 dollars. So, and next year we're budgeting, uh, our requested budget is 28,800 dollars. And we're going to do the same thing next year that we did this year. And that number should be like two hundred eighty-nine thousand, not twenty-eight nine. You couldn't have got paid no. two hundred eighty-nine thousand no. dollars. Thirty-five or thirty-eight thousand. Yeah, I think. it went over. It's, but well, I thought I heard Regina just say that the raises. That's total that's wages. That's total wages. wages. And one hundred forty-five thousand of that was approved last year's town meeting. I, I'm only asking how much were raises given out. Total wages. This year, that increased to non-union. You saying non-union? Well, I'm just trying. I don't have the not. This is total union and non-union. Yeah. So we have no. So we have no data to, to, to base uh, yeah. uh, this this particular line of number on. On so the, here, on the all the conversations we've had, we Chris, still don't have a number. Yeah. On the November financial report, was the, what was the line total for merit pay? I think it was thirty-eight thousand somewhere 18, in there. Some, 
18427. Well, maybe the 28. It might be the 2890. That was in November. It was 1894. And the raises were all done by then. That's the actual that was applied to this line. It was like 10,000. I know there was, there was more than that. I mean, the police chief himself, all by himself, had a $10,000 raise. Well, that's what. And then he had 2% across the board for non union. I mean, this had to be well over 18,000. Right. Then my question would be where did that come from? That's, there you go, Jenny. There you go. <laughs> it came from the police but bottom. You don't approve, you approve a bottom line budget. What the town does with it yeah. is up to them. So why are we talking? I, I understand that they can move things around yeah. according to law. They can. No problem with that? Yeah. But we're looking at this budget book. I'm saying, okay, that's what we're looking for raises for next year. And I'm like, well, based on what we did in 2016, that doesn't look any more realistic than it did in 2016. Um, yes, sir. I have an amendment and a okay. motion Alrighty. to reduce the merit pay by $10,000. Okay, is there a second? Mr. Marr? I'd like to discuss more in line to what we like actually to, spent. Okay. Year. I'd like to discuss that for a minute. Mm -hmm. As we just we got done. be able to hear you, Mike. As we just got done pointing out, the merit line all by itself doesn't mean much. They can spend basically whatever they want. So what's the point of reducing it? Because what's it the takes point it of out of the budget. Right. I would just say, thank you, I'll do it. I'll get rid of it. But other than that, I would just leave it alone. It's, well, a, it's academic. It makes it more in line to what we spent in the past. No, actually, it makes it less in line. Because we spent considerably more in 2016. Than that. Well, I'm just going by just one line item. Right. Me too. Okay, well, Brian's intent. I mean, what Mr. Pierce said makes perfect sense to me. It's like, well, this line is totally nonsensical in terms of there being any reflection of what we're actually going to be spending relative to merit pay. No, I. So if the line, if the subline on has, pay. I don't have a problem with merit pay in itself conceptually either. The problem is this line does not reflect reality at all. Just there's no re there's no reflection of reality here at all. We might as well not even have the line at all. Take the 28.9, and put it under miscellaneous whatever they can't well, spend it on. They're trying to have make it have reality now. That's why it's a lot higher than it's been in the past. Try that again. Yeah, it's up 85 percent. I acknowledge that. Yeah. Right, because we've already accounted. We've already placed money there so that we're not going over budget on that line. Item. You know what I'm saying? Regina, could could the selectmen consider, <coughs> consider doing what the school board does and make merit raises literally merit raises? That way, it wouldn't you be mean bonuses. Hmm? You mean bonuses. Bon well, bonuses. Yeah. Uh, performance. Uh, performance. Uh, Reunification, yeah. yeah. Something that would not be continuing year after year once it's given out and something that wouldn't inflate the annual salary. Something that you might at least want to consider discussing. That way, outstanding people, as Fred pointed out, that everyone is given an assessment. You're, you go and you check everyone and they have to, uh, including the manager, they all have their paperwork done. So that should be a good basis. It might be a little more um, manageable. I, I, just want, I just want as accurate a number as I can. Excuse me, Mr. Line, Jones. Excuse me, Mr. Jones. Thank you. You're welcome. I uh, just want to point out that when I was a selectman, one of the things we considered with spreading around equally was how do you compare some of the people that would be eligible for that to other because they don't do the same job. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can compare a teacher to a teacher, but you can't compare. You don't compare, Michael. Well, maybe. You take a set rule of, of guidelines and professional goals yeah. and you yeah. evaluate them on I that. I understand that, but it's still left up to a very objective thing by, or a subjective thing by the people who make these decisions. And, and when I was there, I, and I'm working even with the town manager, sometimes it's difficult to separate and and compare each one of them when you're trying to come up with a percentage because you had to come up with a percentage because there's only so much money mm -hmm. okay that we tried to divvy up 
and I thought that, in my opinion, the best way to do it was to do it evenly across the board because everybody knows what everybody makes in this town because it's all in annual report and all that sort of thing. In private industry, I can see keeping it secret. But here, it's not secret. Everybody knows what's going on. Can so we there's move a, there's very Brian mo uh, Brian's motion? Yes. Okay. It's already been moved. Can we vote on it then? It's, Thank you for yes. the clarification. No problem, Mr. Lev. I, I just want to make sure that everybody stands. There's a reason for doing it all equally. Okay. I think you understand the intent of the motion. In favor of Brian's amendment to the to the initial motion. In favor? Okay. Um, Lapham, Wolsey, and Mara. Opposed? Barnes, Bridal, Pierce, Kravitz, uh, Pluff, uh, Ladd, and LeBranch. Stating? Uh, no? Oh, Augustine. Sorry. And then Mr. Henderson oh, is abstaining. Abstaining. And I have joined Danielle Augustine. <laughs> what a team. You are He's a no. <laughs> are you a no? She's abstaining. No, I'm no, not. She's a no. Oh, I'm sorry. She's a no. Sorry. That's why, that's why we're together. <laughs> okay. Mr. Henderson is the only abstention. I'm sorry. Can I just take the no's again? So the yeses are easier. They're only three. Not, not really. No's are the key. You want All the right. no's again? The no's, please. No's. No, the no's. What the no's are the yeses? The no would be we not to do the no's. Wait a minute. Okay, you are the no's. We were the yeses. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're doing those now? Yes. You consider my hand raised. Yeah. <laughs> you want the hands up or not for the nose? Well, we can't, I think yeah, we take get, a vote. Yeah. With the nose on this side. <laughs> you can't even vote anymore. <laughs> but so <without> crippled. <laughs> Come on now. You, Madam Chair, you please ask. I lost. That's what it comes from. Okay. <laughs> all right. You're all can set. I, can I just yes, say that? <laughs> Those are Mr. Ladd, Mr. Jones, Ms. Augustine, uh, Ms. Barnes, Ms. Bridal, Ms. Russell, and Mr. Pierce. And what, what happened to Mr. LeBrand? Mr. Travis, who is a... Oh, you a no? I'm a no. Yeah. You're a no? Yes. That's why I'm wondering. We need to vote again. All right. Stick your hands up again so poor Barbara can get everybody... No. For the no's or the yeses? No's opposed. Pose. No's. A pose that you tip. No's. I agree. Okay. We got Barnes, Bridal, Pierce... Kravitz. We've got Pluff, Augustine, Jones, Ladd, and LeBrand. I'm, I'm watched. Okay, what, please uh, just do me. it again. Forgive me. Do it again. I'm working <laughs> slowly. I, let me just read them out. Okay. And then okay. anybody who I don't get right, tell me. Mr. Pierce, Ms. Bridal Russell, Ms. Barnes, Ms. Augustine, Mr. Jones, Mr. Ladd, Mr. LaBranch are no on the matter of the amendment. And uh, Mr. Kravitz. Kravitz. No, as well. no. He's a no, and also <laughs> Mr. Pluff. And Mr. Pluff. Okay. All right. So that should count up to nine. And Mr. Henderson is the only abstention. Well, nine, because Henderson's playing right yeah. So, Madam Chair, the only reason I brought that up was that I'm constantly calling for more accuracy. And above all the lines in this budget, this one seems to be the least accurate of all. Yeah. And Can at this point, the next item? no, because I'm talking. You are always talking. <laughs> You're always trying to move somewhere else. So go ahead, feel hey, free. You can't hear if people are talking. So my point is, is that at this stage, we're not going to get an accurate number, quite apparently, even though we know this is woefully off whack with what we actually did. It just is. Everyone seems to agree on that. The question of degree, the actual number, all that. That may be argumentative, but. The number that's reflected in here is that no reflected in reality with regard to what happened in 2016. And so it really lessens my confidence that this number, though up 85%, Regina, I acknowledge that, in an attempt to make it more accurate, is still going to be woefully inadequate, I suspect, next year as well. So I just can't buy this number. I missed the flap on the only reason I voted against your motion was because I think that would have made it even less accurate. And my, my striving here is to make it accurate, not simply to reduce the raise, but just simply make it accurate. Okay. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Okay, I we're hope. all all set now. We're going to call up. Yes. We need to take a vote on my motion, which is to 
recommend three million one hundred and seventy nine. You're you're already in public work. No, 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 no. no, no. We need to up personality. Yes, the main motion. Oh, the main motion on personnel. Yeah. Oh, right. Got you. Okay. 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 You gotta see if you don't need to repeat it. Just call for the vote, Madam Chair. Yeah. Okay. In in favor, Brian. Brian's was an amendment. No, it was an amendment, right? Okay. Alex, for the so, in yeah. favor of the total uh, personnel admin budget. Figure again. Three million one seventy-nine no. five ten. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, the whole yes it is. Yes, oh, yes, that's yes. right. It is because yes. of all the. Yes. 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 Okay. Totally. All right. Barnes is in favor. Jenny. Oh yes. Brian Russell. God, there's no gas in here. <laughs> Kravitz, <laughs> Henderson, Fluff, Augustine, LaBranch, and Ladd. Okay. Opposed? Pierce, Lapham, Woolsey, Jones, and Mara. Abstaining? I think we got everybody. Okay. 